Hi everybody, my name is Danielle Nicole and welcome to Monetary Makeup. If you have a fair to light cool undertone like myself, I can really appreciate the struggle of finding a great bronzer. It is so common, the bronzers are either too deep, too light, too orange, too warm, too yellow, I could go on and on. So what I'm going to be doing in today's video is swatching my entire bronzer collection for you and simultaneously doing a bronzer declutter. Now one of my favorite makeup items to actually put on the skin is bronzer. So I have a ton of options from cream to balms to powders, you name it, I have it in my collection. So my goal today is to help you save money on your future bronzer purchases. So if you're excited to get started, don't forget to hit the like button, the notification bell, and let's get started right now. All right, you guys, so I have a ton of bronzers, as you can see, and I actually have more sitting off to the side. Bronzers, as I mentioned, are some of my favorites, so definitely grab a snack and a drink if you'd like, and let's get started. Now really quick, I do wanna mention, I'm going to be swatching all of these, not just the Fair to Light Cool bronzers, because I ordered all of these thinking they would match my complexion, and some of them do not. So I just thought it would be helpful to swatch all of them and not just the cool undertone ones. All right, so first up, I have three different bronzers from e.l.f. So this is a baked formula in the shade Bronzed Glow. I don't know if you can see that tag. And this bronzer, I just do not remember liking it. I think it was really orange. Let's see what the swatch looks like. Oh yeah, super orange. So that is going in the donate pile. So this is another bronzer from e.l.f. and this is in the shade Sunkissed. So this is not the same one as the Forever Sunkissed one. And I think it was only $3 and it looked like it would be fair and it is. However, it definitely is too orange in my opinion. So another one that's going in the donate pile. Next up is a palette from e.l.f. in the shade Saint Lucia. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now this comes with a blush and a contour. I'm definitely not a big fan of the blush shade. And I can't remember what the contour or bronzer shade is. Okay, so that is actually a very nice cool undertone. And I do like it, however, I just don't reach for it enough. I have so many, so I'm going to donate that one as well. All right, you guys, I found two more from e.l.f. So this is actually a blush in the shade Always Hazy. Sometimes blush shades can work amazing if you're looking for a bronzer with a little bit of pink in it. So I do remember liking this one, however, it's actually too pink, believe it or not. So I'm also going to donate the blush. Next up is the e.l.f. Bite Size Minis in the shade Coconut. And you know, this one didn't impress me. Not only the bronzer, but the highlighter formula was just a little bit chunky. And this bronzer does have some red in it. However, it is much too deep for my complexion. So that one is also going in the donate pile. Woohoo! Next up is the sister brand of Tarte from Sugar Rush. So this is a baked bronzer. Now this formula is actually really good. It's a little bit dry, but it's incredibly smooth on the skin. However, the one thing I remember not liking about this bronzer is it was also pretty, or yeah, that's also very orange. So I'm going to be donating that one as well. Wow, six for six, you guys. All right, I am so excited to talk about these next bronzers. So these are from the brand Half Caked, and these are called candy paints. Now, when I first saw these, I thought they looked like Polly Pockets, and I was like, oh my gosh, this packaging is marketed for kids. This is going to be horrible. No, these are one of my favorite bronzers of all time. They last forever and they are almost waterproof 
if not waterproof, at least water resistant. So this one is in the shade Coolness. And the other one I have is in the shade Morning View. So I just swatched these. So the first swatch right here is Coolness. And this one right here is in the shade Morning View. So Coolness is a beautiful bronzer because it does run so cool. And Morning View is a great neutral bronzer. Now I swatched these here because at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I start to wash these off and how they literally stay on the skin so well. I cannot say enough good things about the brand Half Cake. They also have highlighters as well as blushes in the same formula and they're just incredible. So I'm definitely going to be keeping these. Next up is the Charisma Contour Palette in the shade Cool and Light from Kaleidos. This is another beautiful palette. It comes with a highlighter, a contour, and a bronzer shade. These are perfect undertones in my opinion. So let me swatch the contour as well as the bronzer. Now the contour is probably not going to show up very well on my skin because it is so fair, which is why I absolutely love it. So here is the contour and here is the bronzer shade. So I am going to be keeping this palette because I love it for a matte finish. Next up is another matte formula from Ellie Girl and this is actually another blush, believe it or not, in the shade Just Because. This is a perfect contour shade for someone who is fair to light and it has a chunk missing because I used it in a video when I was trying to make my own bronzer, in case you were wondering. So here is the LA Girl one. I am going to wipe off my arm so we can keep on moving along if you'd like to take a screenshot. Okay, now next, my backup for Half Caked. I do prefer these. However, next up I have the e.l.f. Putty Bronzers in the shade Feelin' Shady and Honey Drip. So the more cool undertone is feeling shady, a beautiful light contour shade. And this is Honey Drip. It does run a little orange. However, I mix these two together and the finish and the color is beautiful. So I am going to be keeping these as well. And they do last on the skin all day. So yeah, definitely keeping these. Next up is a palette I recently reviewed. So I will link that up here or in the description for you guys. So this is the Patrick Ta Duo Sculpt in She's Statuesque. I'm sorry, I'm probably blinding you guys with this packaging right now. So this comes with a cream contour and a powder bronzer. I'm not the biggest fan of the bronzer. Now the finish is beautiful, but I find it's actually too light for my skin tone. However, I love using this cream contour as a bronzer because I find it's not quite cool enough. So this is the bronzer. So as you can see, that runs a little bit orange, so it's just not my favorite. However, the cream contour is a really nice natural bronzer shade. So I just purchased this, so I am going to be keeping it for the cream. Next up is a palette by Pixie in the shade Sugar Blossom. This is another great palette. It has one bronzer, two blushes, as well as a hot, as well as a highlight. I'm not gonna stuff over you guys. I have so many bronzers; they're like everywhere. Now I really like this bronzer because it leans a little bit pink, and it does have a more luminous finish, no glitter or anything. So definitely going to be keeping this one. Now I did talk about this palette in the By Terry video. So if you are curious how this one performed, definitely check that video out after this one. Next up is a blush from the brand Buxom. And this is in the shade Wonderlust. As you can tell, I find a lot of blush shades sometimes work great for bronzers. So this one, yeah, this one has a more pink undertone, and I really do like the finish of this one. It does have, because it's a blush, it does have a little more luminosity. 
However, once I go over it with setting powder, really like the finish, so keeping this one. Next up from Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzers. Now these are baked, and the shade I have is Heat Wave. This is another great cool tone bronzer that has some pink in it. And I've used this so much, and you can hardly even tell. So these last forever. So here is Flower Beauty. Next up, I have two from L'Oreal. These are the Lumi bronzers, and I have the shade Fair and Deep. Sometimes in the summer, my skin is a little bit deeper than the Fair, so both of these will work. So here is the Fair shade. These do also have a luminous finish. And here is the Deep shade next to Fair. I would say both of these lean on the cool side, the deep one definitely has a little bit more red in it, whereas the fair is much more cool and less red, a little bit more brown. So I am going to be keeping these. These are phenomenal drugstore bronzers. So if you are wondering which bronzers work from the drugstore, highly recommend these ones. All right, next up, I definitely splurged on this palette. This is the By Terry Beach Bomb. This is such a beautiful palette comes with two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlighter. And this bronzer does lean a little bit pink, and it's definitely on the fair side. So you can build it up, but it's not incredibly deep. So I can tell you right now, I will for sure be keeping this one. And it smells like natural roses, not artificial. So this is one of my favorites. Next up, I have two bronzers from number seven. So this one is in the shade Golden Sand. So this is what Golden Sand looks like. And the other one I have is in the shade Caramel. So Golden Sand is a beautiful shade. And then I do find Caramel, it's a little bit too little bit too warm for my liking. It's coming across as cool on camera, but I do recommend Golden Sand over this one. So even though I do like Golden Sand, I have so many other options, so I am going to be donating these two as well. All right, you guys, so this is from the brand ColourPop, and this is their Coconut Beach Matte Bronzer. I waited so long to pick up this bronzer because on camera, or at least on their website, I should say, it looked like it would be a perfect shade, but there's just something about this. It's very buttery. The formula is one of the best I've ever swatched, but I don't know. There's just something about it I don't remember liking. So this one right here is Coconut Beach. So I am going to be getting rid of this one as well. All right, you guys, we have nine in the donate pile so far, which is awesome. Next up, the iconic Milani bronzers. I have the shade O2 Sunkiss. I remember O1 being more warm than this one. Now, the shade is good, but these are a little bit dry as far as the formula goes. I know a lot of people really like these Milani bronzers, but they're just not my favorite. So this is Milani O2 Sunkissed. All right, I'm gonna wipe my arm off again, and then we'll keep going. I have another blush for you guys. So this is from ColourPop, and this was from the Mulan collection in the shade Matchmaker. This was another one I used as a mix-in, which is why there's a chunk missing. So again, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, this could be a great bronzer, even though it's a blush. However, ColourPop put glitter in this one. So I don't like glitter on my skin. The undertone is really nice. It's pretty fair and cool, but I just don't like the glitter in it. So once again, I'm going to be donating that one. Next up is the Revlon Skin Lights. Now I had two shades. I just reviewed these in my most recent drugstore video, and I had 115, which is Sunkiss Beam, this one, but I had another shade, and I just cannot find it. Um, so let's at least swatch this one. Now, I really like the formula of these. It's interesting because they feel a little bit dry when you swatch them. However, on the skin, they definitely look very nice. 
So this one does run a little bit too orange for my liking. However, they do blend into the skin very well. And I actually like using this as a bronzer topper. So I am going to be keeping this one. All right, so I ran out of my full size butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I think this is just an iconic drugstore bronzer. Everyone knows the formula is amazing. And I prefer the shade, uh, what is it called, bronzer. Even though it's a mini, it's the same shade. So once again, another great option for the drugstore. It's not as cool tone as some of the other options. However, it is a great drugstore find. So I am going to be keeping this one. And I love this formula on the eyes as eyeshadow as well. Next up, I have two Wet n Wild bronzers. I have Sunset Strip Tees and Palm Beach Ready. Palm Beach Ready is right here. And Sunset Strip Tees is the more luminous one. Both of these run very warm. I don't really see glitter, but they're extremely luminous. I actually prefer these as eyeshadow toppers, but I just don't need to hang on to them anymore. So both of these are going in the donate pile. I thought I had a few more e.l.f. ones. So this is the e.l.f. bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. This is another really great drugstore option. These swatch so smooth and apply in the skin smooth as well. However, as you'll see in a second, this one is not really cool tone. I'd say it's more neutral. So I do like this one, but I have so many bronzers, so I'm going to be decluttering this one as well. Next up, I have a Revolution bronzer in the shade 01 Cool. So these are the matte mega bronzers. And this one is pretty old, so I'll probably end up tossing this one. I don't even remember what the shade looks like. Let's see. Okay, definitely a nice, cool matte shade. However, it expired, so I'm going to be throwing this one in the trash. Next up, I have another Revolution bronzer. This is a fake bronzer in the shade Holiday Romance. I also recently reviewed this bronzer. Now what's funny, this is actually too fair for my skin. I never thought there would be a day that something would be too fair for my undertone. Um, so this is a little more neutral and warm. Yeah, I'd say more warm than neutral. But because it's so fair, it almost gives just kind of a nice glow to the skin. Not so much as a bronzer, but more as a bronzer topper. So I am going to be keeping this one. Next up, I have a mini NARS Laguna bronzer. I actually got this as a birthday sample from Sephora. I have actually not used this yet, so let's see what color this looks like. Ooh, okay. So that does look like it has a neutral, slightly cool undertone. So I definitely wanna try this one out. So I'm gonna be keeping this before I make a decision to just give it away. I forgot to mention, I have another e.l.f. putty bronzer, and this is in the deepest shade Caribbean. I ordered this because I noticed no one had swatched it on YouTube for deeper skin folks. This is so beautiful. Now, of course, this is going to be too deep for me as a bronzer, but I do really like how it has a red undertone. So on the eyes, I really like this. So I am keeping that one too. Next up is a palette I recently reviewed from Shop Mist A, so I will link that up here or down below for you guys. I cannot believe this palette is a dollar. It has a bronzer, blush, and highlight. And you know how usually when you get palettes like this, one shade works, but the rest don't? All three of these shades are such beautiful, cool undertones, so I highly, highly recommend this palette. And as I always say, I don't believe it's good for the price. I think the formula is great. The undertones and the shades are beautiful. So let me swatch this one right here. So here is the Shot Messe Princessa Contouring Palette Bronzer. It has a very luminous finish, but it is cool tone. It's actually one of my favorites. I can't believe one of my favorites is a dollar palette. But it just goes to show, sometimes affordable makeup is great, and sometimes high-end is not. <laughs> All 
right, I'm going to wipe my arm off one more time and be right back. Okay, so it wouldn't be a bronzer or contour video for Fair to Light Cool Undertones if I didn't give an honorable mention to the next Sweet Cheeks blush in the shade So Taupe. This is just another great one. This comes in a matte and a luminous finish. I like the luminous one for my eyes and the matte for the face. So this one is pretty fair, so it might be a little bit difficult to see on my skin tone, but I am keeping this one. All right, next up is one of my favorite bronzers of all time. This is the RMS Buridi Bronzer. They only have one shade. It's very pigmented, so you have to go in with a very light hand. This has the perfect red cool undertone to give you that natural sun-kissed look. So I'm for sure keeping this one. It's one of my favorites. This is from Physicians Formula. This is a sculpt stick in the shade Mocha. These are so pigmented. So again, another great drugstore option. I do find that it's not quite as cool as I would like. However, this is one of the scenarios where I'd say for a drugstore option, it really does give a nice sculpted look. So I am going to keep this one just in case for a backup if I want that more chiseled look. This is the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Light Medium. This is so nostalgic, you guys. This was the first contour stick I ever bought. Not this one in particular, but the shade from NYX. So this is a, another great one. It definitely has a more cool red undertone, but for a drugstore, to have such a great finish, has a little bit of gray in it, so I love this contour stick. I just had to laugh because I've been using this stick for so many years. <laughs> Next up is the e.l.f. Electric Mood Palette. So this comes in two blushes, a highlighter, and a bronzer. Now, I did review this palette. Do I like it? Yes, I like it. However, look how, I don't know if you can tell how pigmented this bronzer is, so I like it, but you definitely have to go in with a very, very light hand, and it does have a matte finish, so I really like this palette, so I'll be keeping this one. Next up, I have two bronzers from Tower 28. These are the Bronzino bronzers. The first one right here is in the shade Sun Coast. This is actually a new shade. Once again, never thought I would see the day that a bronzer is too light for me but it is. So this is what the shade Sun Coast looks like. So it's almost like a highlighter. If you have a deeper complexion, this would probably be a beautiful highlighter on you. And then the next one over is West Coast. This isn't super cool tone. However, this gives such a nice luminous glow to the skin. So I am going to be keeping West Coast but I am going to donate a Sun Coast since I have enough highlighters, I don't need another one. All right, next up you guys are another one of my favorite cream bronzers. So these are from Fenty. These are the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzers. I have the shade Butter Biscuit and Amber. Here is Butter Biscuit and here is Amber. There's so many people that go, why did they come out with Amber? It's straight up gray. <laughs> but if you have a cool undertone, gray contours look so good. They mimic shadow. And also, Butter Biscuit definitely leans cool as well. So these are actually one of the first few cream bronzers I tried. They are tried and true, some of my favorites. So highly recommend, and we'll be keeping the Fenty. All right, a couple more, you guys, and we are almost done. So this is a contour stick from Westman Atelier. This is called the Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit. This is another really natural looking contour stick. It's not super gray or cool, but it is cool tone. So I really do like this when I need a more matte finish. Beautiful formula too. So keeping that one. Okay, so next up, this is from Urban Decay. Now, these face and lip tints 
No one talks about them. If you are looking for a dewy finish that isn't sticky, I love these. They make a highlighter, clear shade. They're blushes and quiver, and there's another one I have in uh, Bittersweet. Love these. But they also have a shade called Kinky, and this actually does work in the summer. If you were just looking for something to kind of wash over your skin and give you a dewy look, look how pretty that is. So I love these Urban Decay face and lip tints. So once again, keeping this one. Okay, so do you guys remember from Merit Beauty, they had a cream blush. It was either in cream or a stick formula. Whichever one was more of a neutral brown shade, this is for sure a dupe for that. I wanted to do a video and I accidentally dropped my Merit blush in the toilet. <laughs> so I had to throw it out sadly. But this is from Shotmas A, the AOA Cream Blushes. And this is in the shade Demure, D-E-M-U-R-E. -E. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So this is definitely, it looks super orange when you do this heavy swatch like this. And it is for sure. However, when it sheared out, it was almost identical to that Merit Beauty one. So if you didn't want to pull the plug on Merit, this could be a great option. I love these cream blushes. They're a dollar and they perform so beautifully. They last on the skin. So highly recommend these from Shop Masse. All right, next up I have from KVB Beauty, their Mod Con Contour Sticks. I have the lightest shade in... Fair Cool 90, another great formula. Now these are much more pigmented than I expected. I'm gonna do it right here because I'm running out of room. Now this one doesn't lean as cool as I like for contour. However, for a kind of contour bronzer duo, I really like how this is a gel formula. On my oily dehydrated skin, I just really love the finish of these. They blend in and they don't sheer out to nothing and they last all day. So really like this KVD Mod Con as well. So I will be keeping these last few I just mentioned. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hands, but I'm going to leave the candy paints from Half Caked on my arm and show you how long these last. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I am at my sink right now. So I'm going to turn the water on so you might not be able to hear me if I start speaking. But I'm going to rub a little bit of water right here and also on these from Half Cake. And you will see how almost waterproof these are. So let's do it. All right, check this out. So I have water in my hand. I've already wiped it, just like I did here. I mean, I am rubbing pretty hard. These do not budge. Look at that. I am going so hard, and they do not move. All right, so I think I did pretty good. I got rid of 15 out of this entire collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone who you might think will find it beneficial. I wanna thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.